So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles today. We're going to be test riding this. This is the Nano 50 for a customer. Nice little one in black. He's come in two colours, black and white. And ideal 50cc for those people that are starting into motorcycling, twist and go motorcycle. Just have a quick look round it. And with this one, you do have the H at the front here that does light up. And you've got your twin LEDs to the front on this. This one is all LED, all the way around the bike. And very, very easy just to get in there and check your oil level, get to your tyre pressures with those side valves as well. So we're going to take this one out, give it a run for the customer. And obviously for the purpose of this ride test, I am going to show a few people exactly what this bike is like. So a lot of people have commented on mirrors, especially on the last bike. So looking at this, if I set the mirror up to look behind me, I have about an eighth of my shoulder in this mirror. So very, very wide mirror on this. And looking to the other side, set that one up and you can just about see that that mirror has got about an eighth of my shoulder in this. So obviously the camera is on the side of the crash helmet. It gives you a totally different view of the road behind. But from my eyes, I have about an eighth of that mirror taken up with my shoulder in it. Even with my arms out, I'm only taking up about a third of the mirror. So there is an adequate view of the road behind. On this one, start button, you've got a hazard light switch over on the left, very, very simplistic controls, a horn, the indicators, and your main beam and dip beam. On this one, you've got a locking key on it, and when you fire that dash up, rev counter across the top, miles per hour, nice big display of the miles per hour, current time, the outside temperature, and your miles, and then your fuel tank to the right. And you can go in and just set those modes up, just by holding that mode button down and that will set your time for you so you can select the time at the moment is currently eight o'clock in the morning so we're just going to move that round to eight o'clock very very easy just to click over go to your next setting on this one and then program it all in so we should do all that when it's back at the garage and up for the customer so it's just around about eight o'clock this morning hold of the brake and press the start button fire straight up and a nice steady tick over around about 1400 1500 rpm on this one this one is efi automatic choke on this one as well so we're just going to pull this one out get into traffic wait for the lights to change and we're going to take this out for a ride test so we'll catch up with you in just a second while we're waiting for the lights and we'll catch up with you when we are on the road so pulling out into traffic and just bringing it up to power nice steady 30 mile an hour which is what these bikes do and we're going to start off with the urban for a change so we're going to whiz it around town just show you what it's like as an urban commuter or something you just want to go and do your daily shop on this does have a rear rack so you can put a 32 litre top box on this or if you so wish to put a larger top box which is a 42 litre Moving up into town, bring it up to speed, and with this one, over 27 and that dash does go red, that's what I do love, tells you you're at full speed so you can glance down and see that you are doing 30 mile an hour, just by a simple glance down and seeing that your dash is red, so keep an eye on that. Braking on this very, very efficient, and we're just going to do a quick round the estate just to show you what it's like if you happen to be in a city and you needed to get around those roads. They're so coming in on the front brake, front brake, very, very efficient. Nice set of disc brakes on this all the way round. Which I say, disc and drum on this one. But I do love these little nanos, all digital, nothing to worry about replacing bulbs, all LED. But this is an ideal little urban commuter. And obviously a lot of customers have bought these. And we're coming up to the time where the school leavers are going to be starting school or the school leavers are going to be heading off to college. So if you happen to be 16, or you happen to have your, what's called your grandfather rights on your driving license, ideal little bike just to have a run around on 
with your top box, shoot down the road, get your pint of milk, get your loaf of bread or your shopping, drop it in the top box and then head home. Miles per gallon on these, they reckon they're just over about 90 to 100 miles to the gallon, so absolutely exceptional fuel economy on one of these. And for a 50, it does corner very, very well. And no worries about obviously breaking the 30 mile an hour limit because that is what this bike is restricted to. And even with someone as heavy as me, I'm just over 13 stone, it still gets up to speed very, very quickly. So whether you're a light rider or a heavier rider, it is going to do the job for you. So obviously Lexmodo Nano, there are quite a few in the 50cc range, should you be looking at 50ccs. You've got the Lexmoto Nano, you have the standard Echo, and then there is the Echo Plus which has those 12 inch wheels. A little, better, a little bit better on the road holding on the Echo Plus, because obviously the bigger wheels on that. And then they also have the Hunter, which is a geared 50cc bike, also capable of 30 mile an hour. Even on these uh, A roads or out of town roads, still has uh, quite a bit of road presence, holds its line. And what we're going to do this time, we're going to come in on the back brake on this one. Just wait for the last minute and then just a nice big handful of back brake and that pulls down efficiently. Levers have all been set up, all in the correct place. Mirrors, lovely. Can't fault the mirrors on this one. I've got a nice wide view of the road behind but as I have said in previous videos and I keep on about it never ever trust a mirror always do your shoulder checks when you're going into corners looking over the shoulder just checking what is behind you but from these mirrors I have got a very very good view of the road behind but obviously the view from the camera is totally different from what I see with the naked eye. Having a side-mounted helmet camera that sits out quite a bit, totally different view of that road behind. So always do your shoulder checks guys. So currently 2.7 miles into the ride test and bike is performing very very well. Obviously a lot of people are, oh it only does 30 mile an hour, yes that is what a 16 year old's bike is designed for. 30 mile an hour just to get you used to the road. Obviously if you wanted something a little bit faster, hang around a year get yourself a 125. But for just potter into the shops, and even on a main road like this now that does uh, 60 mile an hour road, Occupying position one on the road. I've still got a nice view of that traffic behind me coming past. When those nice bright LEDs, it does make other car drivers very aware of you. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get some extra mileage on the bike and I'll cut back in when we head back into town. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a few. And so coming off the dual carriageway, out there on a 60 mile an hour road on the 30 mile an hour bike it can be a little bit intimidating but obviously as long as you maintain your presence on the road occupying positions one or two it's not that bad but it can be a little bit undaunting for anyone that's uh, a new biker having that traffic flying past you so just obviously to warn you 30 mile an hour is the max on this bike if you are going on dual carriageways you will get used to it but it can be a little bit uh, undaunting the first time And obviously playing with the big traffic but coming back into town and putting the final bit of mileage on this bike currently we're at uh, 9.1 miles in on the bike so just the last little bit to put on but so far no issues with the bike whatsoever and never never normally is with any of the 50 cc's that Lexmodo do Absolute pigs to start when we first get them in and you go to fire them up. They can take a while to get that first bit of fuel through because the lines are so small. But once they fire up, they keep going. So that's another 
Word to the wise on that, do not run your tank dry. You do get, actually get the fuel through the system. But it does everything it says on the uh, tin. And obviously the Nano is uh, one of my favourite 50s to ride along with the uh, Echo. Now the Echo was the best selling bike for the last seven years in the 50cc market. And it just shows you the reason why. Obviously the Nano is the newer LED version. And just get a look at those indicators down on that dash there. Get a nice white indicator to the left, left arrow and your indicator light to the top. So it does make you very aware that you've got your indicators on. So ending up the ride test as usual, if you enjoyed the video, click like, subscribe, thumbs up or thumbs down, leave your comments in the section below. I do like to hear those comments, especially when people comment, especially on certain subjects that uh, they're quite passionate about, like mirrors or, oh, is the Lexmoto is good? You work for a Lexmoto dealer? Yeah, I'm very, very unbiased. If I don't like something, I will say I absolutely slated the ISCA the first time I rode it. Um, you can see that in one of my videos. So I am very unbiased. I don't swing towards Lex Motor. I don't swing against them. I'm very, very neutral in my reviews. And uh, obviously my reviews, uh, from my point of view, you know, if you don't like something, say so. Obviously a, a customer commented on, or well, one of our uh, followers commented on the, uh, the mirrors on the riot zone, didn't like them. They looked absolutely crap. I found them adequate, but obviously I do that. I do a lot of shoulder checking, so it's each to their own. But what I would always say is, go and try something out before you slate it. A lot of people that slate the Lexmoto brand or slate Chinese bikes are people that have never ever sat on one or never ridden one before. So, if you're going to look at something, go and try it out, then make your own judgments. Obviously, from my personal point, I have ridden most of these bikes and I have enjoyed riding every single one. Now, I'm not a lover of cruisers, I'm not a lover of scooters. I prefer playing with the uh, the big bikes, but they do what they say. And for a bike that's, uh, I believe, 1390 on the road, you've got yourself a nice little bargain with one of these. Obviously the Echoes are £100 cheaper along with the Hunters, but they do the job. It does what it says on the tin. So, go and have a look at uh, the reviews. As usual, easiest way to do it, off the website, revbomb.co.uk. If you're not following the YouTube, all the social media for the garage on the first page, link to the Eclipse Motorcycles Facebook, Eclipse to their website, and then all my social media on the last page. That includes the Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the Facebook page. But, been a blast riding this little nano especially around town in the 30 mile an hour area ideal little shopping toy or a little uh, go to school or college toy or even something to take you to work nice and cheap loads to the gallon so if you enjoyed it thank you very much if you don't and don't forget to hit that notifications bell until the next time this is RB wishing you a be safe ride well ride safely and uh, from me it's a goodbye.